Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. How you doing? How you been? I know it's been a minute. Let's not talk about it. Don't talk about it. Anyways, so this video is going to be a little different than uh, what I have been doing. So only because this is a new thing. Like this is a new thing that I've been doing and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really excited about this because I've just been really inspired, okay? So what it is, is I have started a vegetable garden. Um, I started this garden back in like October, November. Why am I planning a vegetable garden? Well, I was actually really inspired by a TikToker whose page is uh, Redley French. I cannot think of his name. I think his name is Brandon, but I can't really remember right now. But he has a huge garden and he lives in Tennessee. He has this huge garden and him and his partner grow all these like vegetables just and flowers just a lot of things and it really inspired me to grow my own vegetables because one inflation everything is expensive everything is expensive organic vegetables are really expensive so it would just save some money when i'm going grocery shopping because a lot of the times what i'm buying is vegetables and fruits it would just be easier if i could just go in my backyard and pick a tomato off the vine and on top of that pesticides I don't know what they're spraying on them on the vegetables. I don't know what they're spraying. I don't know what we're putting in our body. So I would rather just grow it myself. That way I know exactly what's in it. I'm a little nervous about storing the vegetables, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. Okay? Right now, right now what we're worried about is growing it. We're starting to grow things. So that's where we're at. Right now, what I'm planning, um, I have garlic growing in the garden bed. I have some seedlings started, which I will show you. Um, they are not they have not sprouted yet, so it's just dirt and a little, you know, a little condensation on the box, but it's all right, we'll show you, I'll show you what we got. So I bought two stainless steel garden, raised garden beds off of Amazon. I got them on Amazon, um, uh, one for me, one for Tyson. We put them together, it took forever, I think it was like a two day process for, for us to put it together because there were so many little screws and, and getting it to, it was a lot. So we finally got them together got our garden beds assembled um and then we went to the store we went to lowe's um and home depot actually we went to lowe's and home depot uh so what i got from lowe's and home depot one of the two we got some weed barrier fabric it is a black roller fabric that is kind of like meshy a little bit um it's, it's pretty thin but you roll it out on the bottom right so this is why we bought it i bought it and i rolled it out on the bottom um, we also got a watering can, which I will show you. We got a ton of topsoil and garden soil. Um, I also got these two books. These are the books that I've been using to um, learn about gardening, vegetable gardening, and companion planting. Uh, vegetable gardening, this is the meat and potatoes. Companion planting helps keep pests away and um like insects out of your garden so these books have been saving me um they've been teaching me everything i need to know if you look on the side here it has like months on it so each month has um like a chapter basically and it tells you what to plant in that month and you know how to do it each month so this is February, sowing seeds indoors. So this chapter is about starting your seeds indoors, which a lot of your plants need to do indoors. So um, that's something that I've been doing and it tells you, you know, what to plant and prepare this month, sow and plant, and what can, you can be harvesting if you've already got something planted from prior months. Uh, this one really helps teach you which, uh, which plants you can plant together so that they don't have bugs all through them you know what i mean like some places have like caterpillars that eat their vegetables and this guy's like they're rotten and stuff this has got pictures and everything this is it's just very informative it's very important it's very helpful so i re referenced these a lot in the tools that i bought um when we went to lowe's and i referenced those a lot when um you know going into the next step of gardening so um, those are the two books we bought. We got garden beds, we got the weed barrier, and then we had a lot of cardboard laying around the house. We got weed barrier fabric, and it's just this black thin material that you lay over underneath um, where you're gonna put your garden bed so that weeds don't grow underneath it from the ground. 
um, and that uh, like burrowing animals don't get into your garden and eat your crops from below. So we got some of that. And like I said, I had a ton of cardboard running around. So what we did was just laid it out, pinned it down, put the garden bed on top of it and laid some cardboard in, in on the inside. And then just, I sprayed it with water to help it decompose and like break down. So that is what we did just to get the base started. Uh, after that, we bought, I ordered like 11 bags of topsoil and 11 bags of garden soil. Don't get me wrong, we split them between the two garden beds. It was like five and a half for me, five and a half each for her. So that it was just enough to fill up the garden bed. I sprayed it down with a bunch of water and just let it sit uh, for a little bit, for a couple of weeks before I actually like tried to plant anything. So that was probably in September. So I got quite a few packs of seeds from Lowe's. Uh, so we got broccoli, spinach, and, and onions, and, and lettuce, collard greens, onions, okra, just a bunch of stuff that will grow in um, our region. So, um, and then I bought this. This is a plant food fertilizer for, for vegetables and fruits. So this is specifically for the type of crops that I'm growing, so that's why I got these specifically for plant vegetables. Um, so I'm get, I got all these things. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm ready. To, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm ready to plant. I'm ready to plant. So I planted um, lettuce and spinach and um, maybe one or two other things. I can't really remember what I planted. And it didn't really go nowhere. I'm not gonna lie. It got, I got a little bit of, a little bit of sprouts. And I was very excited about these sprouts. I sent friends, pictures to my friends. And I was like, look, I got sprouts. Look, I got sprouts. I was so excited about these daggone sprouts and then it got too cold and they kind of died but that's okay uh so i also planted garlic garlic is a cool season uh crop so uh, which i learned from my books my books be selling me stuff and i also learned from uh riley friends i also follow him because he's like telling you he kind of teaches you what to do as well and he said it was time to plant garlic so i planted some garlic i went and got a garlic ball from the store i don't know what type of garlic it is i'm not even gonna lie i didn't know there were so many different types of garlic garlic is garlic to me i ain't i ain't never had a whole bunch of different garlics but i bought some a garlic bulb from the store and i broke it apart and then i just planted the cloves um in their casings and everything just plant them in there and they've been growing they've been doing really well but i also got um these little signs you write on it and stick it in the dirt and tell you what crop you got uh what crop we planted there so we got them from those as well so New Year rolls around, January, February comes. January, February comes. Oh, it's time to start seedlings. I didn't notice. It's something I learned from Bradley Branch. Okay, cool. So I went and got seedling trays. That's what these are. They have little holes in the bottom. I think you, if you can see them, there's little holes in the bottom for, for drainage, for water, put too much water in it. And it has um, a base. Looks, these don't have holes in it. So you take one of these, put it in there so that it drains through there, but there's water, it could be water at the bottom. And then you pop a top on it. Pop a top on it. The top has holes. The holes coincide with these little things and you can cover them if you need to cover the holes or whatever, like the little vents. So it comes with a little vent and pop this on top until, apparently until your seedlings have leaves and like sprout and then you take the top off um so we're not there yet our seedlings are not not quite there yet so then this is what the little seedling tray would look like um and then i put some soil in the bottom so um so what i planted was um i have two different types of onions um i have green onions and a white onion i have lettuce broccoli and spinach all planted and you know just growing doing its thing um and then with this so i did water it with this i put this in the, in the watering can mix it up and then put it on top of it's just fertilizer I'm just gonna put this either once every one or two weeks one one to two weeks depending on how dry your soil gets my soil is not dry so we're good um i also did take this uh when i was doing the seedlings a couple days ago outside um because some of my garlic plants like some of the leaves are starting to turn a little bit so i thought maybe it needs some fertilizer so i took um some of this in the watering can and just sprinkled my garlic so 
and they perked right up to be honest this is like an instant fertilizer they get it instantly because it's in water and they just perked right up so that's great this has been doing its job um seeing great results with that um and then to pre also to prepare for the next season that is coming i started a couple months ago maybe like two months ago now i think it started in december i started a compost bin um so i took a big extra bin we had we have extra bins since we moved a bunch of extra a bunch of extra bins so it's like one of those it already had a hole cut in the top of it because we used it for something else a while ago uh had a hole cut in the top of it so it's got good aeration uh air flowing through there helping it decompose which is great i took some extra topsoil that we had left over put it in the bin and then anytime that i am cutting vegetables i put the scraps in here so i bought this on amazon as well and it's just so it's just a little compost food. it's easy clean it's for your counter um this is just for in the house this doesn't stuff doesn't stay in here we just put it in here while we're cutting um, cutting up some vegetables don't leave it in there if we're gonna do this because you will get fruit flies real bad um so don't, don't leave it in there it's empty it every day just empty it or after you finish cooking um so anytime i'm chopping up like you know my onions my green peppers my celery my lettuce anything i'm cutting up strawberries um the stems to grapes the peels for oranges banana peels um all of that anything that has waste any vegetable or fruit that has waste i put it in there and then i take it outside and i put it in the compost bin um what i didn't know which like i said i'm still learning this is new for me this is all new so i didn't know that i had to move it like i didn't have no i had to stir it basically so the other day that's what i did when i was doing all my gardening thing this past weekend i started up i took the little shovel thing and just stirred it up and it's let me tell you that thing stinks that thing stinks it smells terrible but it's working it's working the soil look real uh nutritious and like thick and like really thick and luscious um soil so um i'm gonna be spreading that probably i have to look up when i'm supposed to spread the compost so far things are going pretty well actually one way i really know that my, gar my garden is doing pretty well is um when i went to do the seedlings to fill the the little holes with soil i didn't have any extra soil laying around um so i just went outside and took some from the garden because there's not anything growing on in tyson's or in half of my bed so i just took some some garden soil from the bottom and so i had to dig it up so when i'm digging it up i actually dug up a worm i hate worms so it freaked me out i hate worms so bad but they're like worms are good for your garden it's a good sign that my garden is doing pretty well because things are living in it you know things are living in there and um uh, earthworms provide aeration through the soil because they dig through the soil so it provides aeration um with little tunnels it digs and nitrogen or nitrous i think it's nitrogen i think which is good for your garden so I just know the worms are doing the job and things are growing and it looks looks great so uh that just lets me know that i'm doing a good job so i'm going to take y'all on the journey of gardening these vegetables with me and it will just be a series that's what i have so far and i'm really excited so i hope that i explain things well if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them down below um I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series because it's something I'm really, really excited about and I'm actually kind of nervous to share. I just hope that you guys enjoy it and that you guys stick around um, and maybe even start your own garden. So, let me know. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you made it to the end, comment a plant emoji, a sprout emoji. Just put this emoji in the comments if you made it to the end. Um, I love y'all. Thank you. And make sure you not if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Because we lost like four subscribers because I took a hey hi you just took a break. I didn't have anything to say. I had nothing to say and it wasn't doing nothing. But yeah, so I will talk to y'all later. I love y'all and thanks for watching.